the University of Pretoria has suspended its philosophy lecturer, Dr. Louise Mabille. The move comes after she wrote that raping babies is a cultural phenomenon among black people. Let's get some response from Gillian Skett, the director at Media for Justice. Gillian, thank you very much for coming in this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Firstly, I understand you were supposed to be part of a debate around this issue involving Louise Mabille. Were you? Yes, I was invited to a debate, in fact, this evening in Pretoria, to debate her uh, around how white people should participate in the public arena mm. in a contemporary South Africa. Is that debate still going ahead? No, I mean, I felt that I needed to boycott it because, or, or, you know, to, to actually not go and do the debate because um, how, how do I debate the indefensible? Um, yeah. She, she in, in, apparently she was giving this lecture uh, uh, to, to some o organization and talking to some people about it. And uh, this article is in Afrikaans. It was on the website and we understand subsequently it's also been taken out. But from a translation perspective, she talks about this and she says it would be maybe easier to discuss Calvinism, Calvinism than to talk about uh, the cultural phenomenon of raping babies in the black culture. I mean, how do we begin to have uh, uh, sane discussions? We normally regard ourselves as a rainbow nation. We've come through a lot of hurt and pain in the past in terms of racism. Well, I mean, when attitudes like that are put out into the public sphere, one has to ask a quest that question. Um, first of all, it's ostensibly around feminism and leftist feminism. And I presume that's what she was going to be arguing me. Um, but cast within that are all these, you know, xenophobia, Islamophobia, racism, um, huge prejudice. So um, it was a shocking thing to see when that letter was brought to my attention. I realized that I wouldn't be able to debate um, because if, those, if that's a belief system, how does one change that mindset? Yeah. I mean, South Africa is a very diverse country. We have different cultural backgrounds, different history. For instance, polygamy is practiced among a number of, of African communities. Our president currently is a polygamist. And she also refers to him there and, and talks about him in, in a way that she says, you know, is crude behavior. I mean, she's like gone to an extent where you wonder whether somebody like that in South Africa has actually moved on. And how do we begin to, to build these bridges that make us move beyond where we are currently? How can we do it? Well, firstly, she refers to the president in animalistic terms. I mean, that's really what it is. She calls him all sorts of things in that one paragraph. Um, this, is a, this is a person who's teaching students. So what does that mean about the relationship she has with her students, the attitude? How does she feel about the students? Mm -hmm. And how does that impact on their lives as students? You know? yeah. um, I think that it's very much up to white people to start um, taking that discourse and, and, and changing that discourse and challenging it. We can't continue to say, let's ignore this. Let's transcend this. That's not all about, you know, that's not what we represent. It's out there. It's, it, it, it speaks about whiteness in this country. And it's time for us to start being activists against these kinds of discourses that it's are out there. It's not about being politically correct, is it? It's about really looking at people and treating each other with equality and dignity and respect and understanding our differences. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, you know, I mean, it's very, people are quick to say, especially from that camp, that it's uh, all about political correctness because they assume that they are the default, that we all feel that way. And it's just not true. You know, this is about humanity. Um, I, I'm, I come from, I mean, I'm in a mixed race relationship. Um, they refer to my husband as an animal on that site, which is called Die Prach, which is run by Dan Roots. And they peddle hate speech on that, you know, right across the board. Everyone but that particular group are, are insulted in the most terrible terms, actually. Yeah. I, I understand, as we've reported, that the University of Pretoria has suspended uh, 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 Louise uh, Mabille, but I'm just been fascinated by the silence that has come out of, of, of some of the, of the white community and the Africana community who may be consuming the, the, the Prague website. Should white South Africans be more vocal around issues of racism in saying, guys, we are actually together in this boat and we're all human beings, let's move on? Yes, I think white people that are not upholding that view should be race, anti-racist activists. There's a lot of that stuff happening. There are Afrikaans groups on Facebook that are actually fighting um, this racist discourse. So there are groups of people. I do think that we need to come together as a group of, of, of you know, white people and actually face this, um, this, uh, it's toxic, you know, this toxic discourse head on. And I, you know, I, I'm hoping that many more white people will start responding and making a noise about it. Okay, in the you. public sphere. Thank you very much, Gillian. That's where we're going to have to leave it. That's Gillian Sketer, Director at Media for Justice. And when we come back... News that moves. ENCA.com.